In this video, I'll be showing off over 50 different table designs you can build in Minecraft, coming right up. Hey guys, Steadfast here. Today, I'll be walking you guys through over 50 different furniture designs in Minecraft. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on tables. If you haven't seen my previous video where I show off 100 chair designs, you can check that out with the link in the description or at the end of this video. But I say, let's get to it. So this first table is super basic. I'm sure you've seen these many times. These are the basic tables that spawn inside village houses all around the map. They're simply a wooden pressure plate on top of a fence post. Kinda boring, but we can take this idea and make some really cool variations. For example, you can use a trapdoor on top as a more solid looking tabletop. My favorite trapdoor is definitely the one made from spruce wood. Another favorite of mine is using carpet as the tabletop. These are great because you can of course color them in so many different ways. You can also change out the base of these tables. One of my favorites is using an iron rod with a carpet. These look super sleek and minimal so they're great for modern style builds. You can also use cobblestone walls as the base of a table. And once all of the new wall blocks come out in 1.14, these table designs will have a ton of new textures to choose from. Next up, you can use glass panes. And of course, I comboed these with carpets as well to have fully colored tables. Lastly, you can use end rods as another thin base for these small tables. This one's not my favorite, but if you do need a light source in your house, this could be a great option for you. Moving on, let's look at some coffee tables. You can make a really cool, simple one using three trap doors. Again, I think spruce looks the best, but you can use whichever trap doors you like. You can also make a bigger table by adding more trap doors, and you can mix and match for a different look. These coffee tables look great in a living room, paired with a couch. If you're curious how to add these colored cushions to a couch like this, I show you how to do this in my 100 chair designs video, so go check that out. As for more coffee tables, you can use wooden slabs in the middle instead of more trap doors, like this. And of course, you can use any type of material for your slab, which is great if you're trying to match another block in the room. You can also place carpets on top of cobblestone walls or taller coffee table. This is really just a 2 by one version of the first few tables we looked at. And of course, you can use glass or any other materials this way as well. Next up is one of my favorite tables in this video. This is a modern coffee table made of colored glass on top of gray carpet with some spruce trap doors on the side for an extra detail. You can also place trap doors underneath the glass blocks for a different look. Next up, let's go back to the basics a little. You can make a great little table using only two upside down wooden stairs. Make sure to decorate it with a plant. Building off that idea, here I've used quartz stairs with carpet on top. You can also place a block below for a splash of color. In this case, I use green terracotta. Next up is a great one for a rustic build, or any build that could use wood or logs. Here's an interesting one that uses two back-to-back -back open trapdoors. Definitely a unique way to use trapdoors. Next we have a table made from two anvils. Definitely not my favorite, but I wanted to showcase it because you can really get creative and use any block you have at your disposal to make something new. Up next is an awesome modern coffee table made from quartz stairs and white carpet on top. This one would look great in a big modern mansion. Okay, let's move on from coffee tables and check out something bigger. Here's an easy table made from four fence posts with carpet on top. This is probably one of the more common dinner tables or kitchen tables that people tend to make. You can of course make this table as large as you want. I like using fence gates when making it larger. Next is a similar table, this time using cobblestone walls as the legs. And if you want a big sturdy looking table, you can use trap doors on top instead of the thinner carpets. Remember to experiment and mix and match. Here I've combined cobble walls with the wooden fence gates for an interesting looking table. Next is a modern design that I see pretty often. This is made with glass panes as the legs and carpet on top. You can make the carpets appear to float in place by placing string below. Next is another glass and carpet table using black glass panes surrounding a white glass block. On top, I use two different carpet colors in a checkerboard pattern. You can use carpets to make all kinds of patterns on many different types of tables. 
Next up is a super easy table using only four stair blocks. All you do is place these upside down next to one another so they form a corner stair. This is a great option for a small room because the table only takes up a 2x2 two two area. Using upside down stairs and slabs, you can make a nice wooden table like this that I think works really well as a larger dinner table. I personally love using item frames as plates, and these green cups are actually made from sea pickles. Moving on, this next table is just like the one we looked at, except I mixed and matched some textures. I also love these small chairs made from trap doors. I really love this next design. It uses stripped logs for the legs and carpet on the top, using trap doors in between to hold up the carpets. This is a nice looking table if you want something big and solid looking. Next is another unique table. For this one, it's one log in the middle surrounded by opened fence gates with trap doors on the top. This one is cool because it's super detailed for being still a pretty small table. Next we have a table made out of four extended pistons. This table also has trap doors between to hold up the carpeted top. With this next design, I have a cool trick to show you guys. The legs of this table are made from dark oak fence posts as well as nether brick fence posts. Normally when you place fence posts next to each other, they attach together, but nether brick posts won't attach to wooden ones, so you can make a 2x2 two two table like this with simple and straight leg posts. Pretty neat! Moving on, we have another one of my favorites. This one is super simple, but I love that you can make such a nice looking booth or picnic table by just using stairs and nothing else. I definitely use this one in my builds pretty often. You can also make a booth like this using pistons, and it looks pretty nice because the floor is sunk down a bit because of the piston blocks. Another one that would look great built in a restaurant or cafe. Next is another sort of picnic table. This one makes good use of oak trap doors with their textures. I think this is a fantastic outdoor table that can be used on a porch or a patio. Now, I really wanted to make a glass table, so next up is a giant one I made. I decided to make a pattern below out of blue terracotta and sea lanterns to light up the room. And of course, you can make any sort of pattern below using different colored blocks, even different colored glass to make this table your own. Next is another larger table, this time made entirely of spruce trapdoors. Once again, trapdoors just make some of the best furniture because they can be placed horizontal or vertical. And the long wooden plank pattern on the spruce trapdoors also looks like a lot of furniture does in real life. I also used trapdoors to make a large conference table. Even though I mixed three different wood types here, the build really comes together. This one's a fun one to build for sure. Moving right along, I wanted to showcase some bar height tables. This one uses wood slabs on top of cobblestone walls, which makes a pretty tall build. But by making raised chairs, this idea could work great in a modern house or bar. Here's another bar height design that uses quartz slabs on top of spruce stairs. I also made these bar stools with pressure plates and item frames, which is a bit unusual, but it can work really well, especially along with spruce wood colors. Next is a large modern dining table that you might find in a big mansion. It's made simply from quartz stairs and slabs, but I wanted to showcase the decoration on top. You can use pressure plates as eating plates and clay pots as cups and carpet as the table runner in the middle. If you get creative, you can use so many different types of blocks and items to decorate your builds and furniture. The next table on our list is actually a desk. This one includes a laptop, a big desk chair, and even a potted plant all in a pretty compact space too. The desk itself is simply made from oak planks, and to make the laptop, you just need a trap door, a painting, a pressure plate, and of course a button for your mouse. I wanted to show another desk, this one a little taller. This one allows you to build a taller desk chair with an awesome base. I show you how to make this chair in my chair designs video too. I also added a lamp next to the desk using the same technique at the bottom. Next up is a great outdoor table that features an umbrella. You may have seen this before, it's a very common umbrella design that uses four beds. I love building this design in a park or on the outside area of a restaurant. So the next few I'm going to show aren't really tables, but they're close enough to include in this video about tables, and they're definitely great furniture designs you can use in all your builds. This is a small shelf for a big screen TV to fit on. 
This TV is made from black concrete and stone slabs, and if you have a large house big enough to hold a huge TV like this, you might as well make a nice shelf or entertainment center for it to sit on top of. Next, I have something I haven't really seen before, but I thought it would be cool to show you guys. This is a display case. All it is is a couple of enchanting tables with trap doors on the sides and glass on the top. It's sort of a table, or at least a glass counter for displaying things. This would look awesome in a jewelry store or a museum. Next up, we have a grand piano. I know, I know, not really a table, but it has legs and a top, right? But hey, either way, it looks fantastic. This is made of dark oak wood planks, slabs, and fence posts, and the keys of the piano are made from daylight sensors. I really enjoyed thinking this one up for you guys. All right, last up, we have three game tables. The first one here is a ping pong table I made from green and white carpet. I have string below to hold up the carpet, and you can also use signs and place carpet on top where it shows through to make the net of the ping pong table. I have another ping pong table design using quartz slabs and glass panes as the net, which is a much different look from the other one. You can also use carpet on the floor to hold up the tabletop carpet. This is an alternative to the string method. This way looks best if the table is on top of a wool floor that matches the floor carpet colors. And finally, the last table design on our list today is a billiards table or a pool table. This also uses green carpet, but on top of a frame made of different wood stairs. You can use signs here too, but this time they represent the pool cues you use to play pool. If you want to add even more fun, you can drop down some sphere shaped items on the table. Well, there you have it guys. We just walked through over 50 table designs. I hope you guys found something in this video you liked, or maybe you were inspired to make your own Minecraft furniture. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft content. If you want to see more furniture designs and Minecraft tricks and tips like this, comment and let me know below. My channel also has a handful of Minecraft building tutorials for you to check out. And I've been making a Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play series lately, so check that out as well. Also, if any of you are curious about my gaming setup, including how I record video and audio, what mouse and keyboard I use, etc., I have links in the description below to all the gear I use in my videos. As always, thank you guys so much for the support, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.